Hi, I'm Carl Erickson with TacticalRifleman.com and uh, we're out here with one of my personal favorites, the, the Barrett 50 Cal. All right, now this is the M107A1. It's five pounds lighter than the old 107 or the old 82 that I used back in the day. All right, it's, you can see it's got a different muzzle brake instead of the spade. This one's got a four baffle muzzle brake. And uh, you might notice the design at the bottom. It's actually designed to be used with a suppressor. Barrett finally conquered the design of a suppressor to go on this thing. It's a monster, but it completely gets rid of the signature. Really, really great. All right, scope, this is the latest and greatest by Leopold, built for the varsity team. It's called the Mark 8. It's a 5 to 25, all right? Uh, it's got these sexy G Wiz uh, dials on it, illuminated reticles, great, great scope. And what I like about it is instead of going with all the new Tremor reticles, they went with the old uh, Horus H58 reticle. Or this particular one has it in it. Great mill reticle. We run ballistic software, it comes out in mills. This thing's a real tack driver. Now, um, I wish I had Ravis, Ravis ammo to play with today. I don't, I've got regular ball, but uh, even with ball ammo, th this is an accurate gun, it really is. Now, besides it being shorter, you'll notice that uh, we've taken the bipod off of it. If you get down behind the Barrett with the bipod, you can only get so low, and you know, it's, it's an old bipod design that's just not real, real stable. Some of you will recognize this is a mount for dropping those machine guns into the swing arms, 240s, saws, things like that. Well, Mill Systems Group has built this new, it's actually called the Barrett Shooting Rest. But what this is, is this is a really, really cool, very, very lightweight tripod. All right, it folds up very, very small, and this thing actually locks on the gun. We get it in there, we throw our little lever. And that puppy is lock solid. If I need to do micro adjustments for elevation, I can just reach right up with my uh, support hand, spin the whiz wheel, minute adjustments, do it that way, or I can continue to do it with the, uh, the small t &E, uh, on the back of the gun. What I like about it is not only is it more stable than shooting off the bipod, I can now get this gun much lower to the ground. With the old bipod, this thing would be a little bit higher off the ground. This allows me to get lower. Lower for me in a two-way gunfight means more protection for me. It's also a little more stable. So I get down behind the gun. It's stable. It's going to help take some of that recoil impulse out. I still have my uh, adjustable monopod on the back of the stock that allows me to do fine, minute adjustments on elevation and windage. Get down behind this gun. Uh, to cant this gun, all you do is drop the lever and you notice I can now, I can pan this thing for whatever kind of terrain I'm on. Up, down, left and right. I mean, this thing cants awesome. Once I get it level where I want it, check the float level on the gun, lock it down. And guys, I've got myself a completely solid shooting platform that's beyond just being accurate, it's a 50 cal. So I can punch holes through, oh, pretty well everything on the planet. All right, so let's, let's let this puppy rock. All right, now it's got great glass, accurate ammo. It's an accurate gun. But what really makes the Barrett shine, what really makes it the king of battle is this is a semi-automatic 50 cal. To really get this puppy to rock, you, you just really gotta let it go, let it rock. All right, so that's it for the latest generation of the Barrett 50 cal semi-auto sniper rifle, the M107A1. Again, this thing is awesome. We shot it off the new, very low profile uh, tripod made by Mill Systems Group with the, the Barrett shooting rest on the bottom of it to take some of that recoil out. Awesome shooting gun. Hey, so you wanna see more videos like this, come out to my uh, website, tacticalrifleman.com. Make sure you like the site, 
Uh, give us a thumbs up and let us know if you have any questions or comments and uh, we'll see you next time.